Hello my loves, oh, welcome back to my channel y'all, how are you? It's so good to have you guys back, I am so happy to have all of you here, welcome, peace and love to all of us, yes we are here for another pick a card and um, we are here for another car segment so I hope you guys are you know enjoying everything so far. And I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who have prayed for me, who are continuously, you know, a support system on my channel, who are consistently loving and who bring so much love, okay? So I just want to go ahead and say, um, Rhoda, thank you. I just received your packages and I am going to use them today and um very very sweet okay very sweet and i'm so excited to share it because um i'm going to get to it there's something very beautiful i want to share with this astrology deck the box the quote is fantastic it, it cheered me up instant okay um and also for everyone else who has donated um to my channel i just want to go ahead and say yes i am my heart i am so grateful I am beyond grateful. You guys have no idea how much this really, you know, is a catalyst to my readings as well, to my creativity, to just a lot of my own transformation, okay? And I, I appreciate it so, so much. And Rhoda, you know how my ancestors work. You know, I'm praying for you and you're like, you have become kin to me and I hope you are manifesting all your dreams and for all of you out there as well, I hope you are also manifesting all of your dreams. I hope all of you guys are, you know, feeling good. I hope all of you guys are reaching all of your goals that you have wanted to reach. Okay. We are in a car segment. So, you know, we're, we're probably going to get some, you know, some passerbys here because that's how people really roll around here. But, um, <laughs> We are going to do it anyway because you know what, you guys, I am so close to finding my perfect space. For those of you who have asked me about my moving situation, I am looking for a, um, a very quiet environment, something that isn't so hectic, something that's a little more um, just kind of away from, from a lot of the noise. Um, I'm in a really good place right now where I just want, meaning I want to just settle down. How many of you guys are there? I know a lot of us um, are, are feeling a little restless. Comment below. Let me know how you're doing. So let's go ahead and start with a quote before I give you my introduction of who I am. This is beautiful, you guys. Rhoda, you did great. Thank you. I, I am beyond, beyond speechless. So this box here is super beautiful. Okay. So listen to the quote you guys it's touching it really moved me heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads how symbolic is that how symbolic is that to where we are in life right? This is huge. So I want to go ahead and give a little bit of some clearing of the evil eye for anyone who needs it starting at the top of the head. And then we're going to move our way down. Just anyone who's feeling anxious, negative, okay. Um, and you just need to clear some, some energy up here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is going to be another pick a card, you guys. All right. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant, I am clairaudient, I am a medium. And I do offer mediumship based readings, those are priced down below. Also in terms of video requests, you guys, I am holding off on my video request. I am um, feeling really like I'm close to kind of getting settled down. 
you know, there's a lot of life here, right? A lot of life. There's a lot of things that change in my life, a lot of things that are moving. I'm trying to push these these mountains out of you know the way. I'm trying to get through the obstacles and you know a lot of this takes a lot of meditation, a lot of practice, a lot of mindset, a lot of staying in my heart more than anything because this world, let me tell you, if you allow it, it will completely close your heart and that is what I do not want. So I I just want to say thank you for being patient. I am going to go back to my emailed readings until further notice. But if you're interested, I do have my information down below. I'm going to use this fantastic deck today, this astrology deck. Okay. And let's go ahead and see what gifts are coming in for you. Yeah. So what gifts are coming in for you? Let's see. Also, Rhoda. Yes. Thank you for my cosmic slumber tarot. Yes. I am so excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is happening. So we're going to find out what the universe has in store. Our first pile is the Cosmic Slumber Tarot. The second is the Star Child. Okay, the the third is the She-Wolf Tarot. So think about what gifts are coming in, what's happening in your life, and then we're going to go from there, yeah? So if you need more time, please, are you ready for this? Let's do it. Pile one, what gifts are coming towards you? Let's get, let's get the, um, the astrology movement. I'm still getting into it, you guys. So let's see what's going on. Also, if you guys are feeling generous, I do have my donation links below. Okay. So let's see what's happening here. Okay. Pile one, what's happening? What gifts are coming into your life? What gifts? So we have time. Oh, excuse me. Trine, angelic support and harmony and perfect flow. Excuse me for my nails. You guys forgive me. The life of a gypsy woman over here. So we have trine, okay? We have angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. So what I do know of trine is this is an element of complementary energies around you. A lot of you guys, I am having a vision of light. So right now, something is being illuminated through your crown chakra, okay? So specifically... Our angelic communication comes through our crown, yeah? So there's something coming through here in regards to what is happening next. A lot of you guys, listen, pay attention to your dreams, number one. Number two, really look at what is happening around you because I am getting a lot of synchronicities here. Synchronicities are happening. The changes are happening. A lot of things are becoming more clear to you, yes? So we do have complementary things moving for you so the energy is moving in your favor my loves a lot of you guys right now you are looking for a sign I'm getting pow one you've been like where is my sign why are things not changing why are things not moving for me what's going on how can I make you know the best of this or how can I change listen I'm having a vision a lot of you guys feeling kind of boxed in or you're trying to find an exit you feel as if there are several walls here Okay, so I am getting a lot of maybe fear around certain changes that need to be made or feeling as if you're asking your angels, where is the sign? How can I get out? Some of you guys are caught in a situation where there's, um, I am feeling there's a lot of career energy here, a lot of decision, life decisions that you have to make and you feel as if you're cornered, okay? Okay. So what's happening here? I'm also getting the number one, one. So your angels, the trine energy, okay? Harmony and perfect flow. They want to let you know that right now, the angelic support is about manifesting. What you think, you create. 
So who you are, you are creating. So this is about really acknowledging, I'm just gonna do a little bit of this, you guys. Just really acknowledging um, where you are in life. Yeah, and also acknowledging the signs, my loves. A lot of you guys are being guided by the uh, butterfly totem. You have a beautiful aqua blue butterfly. I'm having a vision of this beautiful aqua blue butterfly just flying, okay? And it's guiding you. It's a slow but sure guidance, okay? So this is symbolic of expression, your throat chakra energy. A lot of you guys are starting to become more comfortable with who you are. You're becoming more comfortable with your environment, okay? So we do have grow and expand. Yes, this is exactly what I felt to you guys. Jupiter, we have the energy of Jupiter here, okay? This is about, wow, ninth house energy. Some of you guys are waiting for a sign. Should I go back to school? Should I not? Or how am I going to get myself from square one, you know, how am I going to get myself from here to there? How am I going to, you know, there's a lot of questions here. And I want you to know that a lot of you guys have the answers. Jupiter is a very abundant planet, and it's not just abundant, but it's a very lucky planet. So a lot of you guys are being guided to take your education to the next level, to take your path to the next level. This is also about, you know, um, there's a very hidden, hidden wealth. My spirit guides, wow, my spirit guides are saying there's hidden wealth here. There's something behind everything you are doing. So I want you guys to hold space for hope. This is also about the journey, my loves. Okay, my spirit guides are saying the journey, how you move through the journey is very important here. So what's going on for you right now? What's shifting for you? You are expanding whatever you are doing. Something started in... February, March for you, my loves, and where, you know, wherever that was, whatever that was, you are starting to move through it. A lot of it is, is transforming for you, but there's something about your hope or there's something about feeling boxed in, something about feeling like not, it's almost like you're not feeling as if it's reachable. You're grasping, you're reaching. Yeah. It's there, okay? If you have been thinking about, should I go back to school? You know, should I invest in this? Should I invest in that? Should I, you know, do this or that? Yes, yes, you should. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, you should. A big part of this is not only about your expansion, my loves, but it's also about who you are, okay? This is also about expanding your horizons and career. I am getting curiosity for some of you in the medical field. A lot of you guys, I am getting a lot of energy around traveling abroad or overseas, maybe. There's some Sagittarian energy here, Sag moon, Sag rising, Sag sun. There's a desire to... Um, you know, get, it's like there's a desire here to, a thirst for knowledge. You're like, what's next? Some of you guys just quit your job and you're ready. You're saying, what is next for me? What's in the cards? Think, learn, network, and communicate. We have Mercury, my favorite planet. Yes. As I said, in my vision, your throat chakra, the butterfly, aqua blue, okay, is all about expansion. It's all about being able to speak your truth right? Being able to truly acknowledge, truly acknowledge what it is that you're passionate about in life. What is it that you're really passionate about? What is it that, you know, you really want to say to, to the people around you? A lot of you guys have had many past lives where you were silenced. Maybe this continued on as a child, okay? It's almost like your parents or people around you, they, they tried to mute you. My, my guides are saying they try to silence you. You know why? Mainly because you have a lot of wisdom, because there's a lot of power here. A lot of you guys are like, you know, you're poets. You start a trend with your words. This is lethal. This is your strength, okay? This is lethal in a good way. You guys have a lot of power here. Use Mercury as a form of you know, gaining momentum in your own personal life. That means public speaking, creative writing, really getting in tune with, um, you know, the arts of expression. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this deck is so cute. I love it. I am so excited. It always makes me feel brand new. 
So Rhoda, yes, okay. Let's see. So what, what's your transformation in life right now? I keep seeing um, a lot of ravens, my loves, okay? It's like very specific right now. I am having a vision of a lot of ravens, a lot of um, self-discovery. When I think about ravens, I also think about the energy of, you know, uh, the cosmic dance of the underworld, the cosmic dance of discovery of hidden energies that are exposed. So let's go ahead and see what else is happening here. What is your transformation, pal one? Let's see. This is big. Let's see here. Wow. This is exactly what I felt. A lot of you guys with the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So let me show you. A lot of you guys are starting to see something from a completely different perspective, okay? You are starting to really witness the beauty of who you are, but you're, you're coming out of maybe some poverty consciousness, okay? Or even just coming out of feelings of not having enough or something that kept you bound okay some of you guys were working a job that was really weighing you down it's it's like my loves I am feeling a, a heavy burdened energy around my heart so it was taking from your spirit yeah so I do feel right now your transformation really revolves around um, the ace of pentacles so you are growing wherever you are in your life my loves you are growing in such a, a huge it's like a monumental shift a huge change for you okay so a lot of you guys are starting to see that there is wealth in everything you do this does not have to be just regular wealth it, it doesn't have to be just money it's not financial it's about your spiritual consciousness your your subconscious knowing that no matter where you are and what you're doing in life that you are going to prosper this is wonderful this is why i feel there's an alignment here with mercury a lot of you guys are going to start a new project that involves creativity okay it involves speaking your truth it could be a poetry book okay you guys are going to write a book or an article there's something about expressing something that you love you're going to express something very big for yourself okay it's going to be very very big and you're going to use a lot of what you're naturally good at so this is a lot of you know, a lot of, wow, you guys, like I'm getting a lot of Gemini energy, wearing different hats. You have the power of adaptability and shape-shifting, okay? Whoa, this is big. This is big. Whatever you guys are doing, it's going to be incredibly successful. And it's also going to be, it's going to give you wealth. This is what I see for you, my loves. It's going to give you a lot of wealth, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else is going on here. What are your gifts? What are your gifts, pal one? Let's see here. Wow, yes. Some of you guys are letting go of something very, very big in life, okay? This is gonna be huge. Whatever it is that you're doing, this is gonna be very big. It's going to be a death, meaning a lot of Plutonian energy, you know, this is about death and rebirth, Scorpio. Wherever we have Scorpio, we have a lot of um, releasing the layers. We're letting go of who we thought we were going to be, and we are adding something brand new to our lives, okay? Welcome to letting go of an old identity. The gift is renewing your spirit. Some of you guys have people around you who are dimming you, my loves. So you got to find people who are really going to be worthy of your time and your energy. I feel a lot of the people in your environment, they want to minimize you or they want to make you small. Does that make sense? So it's up to you to really create an environment where you feel big. You have to applaud for yourself, validate yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and see. We do have the lovers. You guys have all the major arcanas. Listen, okay? Listen, this is beautiful. So we do have um, this energy of self-love, 
So you are no longer following a lot of the crowd. You're no longer inviting a low vibrating energy. Like you're not letting your life just walk by, my loves. Pal one, you are taking it upon yourself and you're saying, you know what, I'm going to reach for the sun. And you know why you're reaching for the sun? Because you guys know what it is that you want, okay? You know, you really know what it is that you want. And not just that, you're also very... Um, very in tune with your life purpose yeah so there's a lot of reaching for the sun you're saying yes this isn't easy you're like at odds with yourself some of you guys are like why why do I feel so bound to an old lifestyle but listen the gift is this change you're gonna let go completely in order to adapt to something new you're gonna have a whole new a whole new environment okay so let's go ahead and see what else is going on here. What is the gift for you, pal one? Yes. So we have the king of pentacles. Okay, again, there's a business here. Okay, there is a business. Some of you guys are going to start a complete business all over. Um, I am saying all over because some of you guys have tried something. And right now, you guys are going to start something new. This involves a very long-term business. This is going to be invest and you will see the rewards. But you have to take your time, right? The King of Pentacles is someone who takes their time, okay? The King of Pentacles does not. They don't rush. So their investment, you're being asked, don't rush this process. Allow yourself to invest slowly but surely into something completely wonderful and also you know when I think of the earth element you guys we have to think of Gaia right we think about Gaia we think about a very um, fertile investment something that is going to be with you forever something that is going to really teach you how to be Virgo Taurus Capricorn um, steady persistent resilient so there's going to be a lot of just grounded and rooted energy yeah so i do feel that the gift is you are going to completely tra like change transform a specific path maybe some of you guys um, were on path to something and now you're realizing well you know i don't really want to do that anymore and now you're realizing okay i want to do something completely different yeah so I do feel this is a huge gift, huge, okay, very big, oh my gosh, you guys, listen, I'm taking a deep breath because it's not easy, okay, what, what, listen, whatever you guys are doing, it's not easy, it does feel very heavy, it does feel as if you're going to have to really show yourself who's boss, with a strength card, Resiliency is an understatement, okay? This is about completely mastering yourself, you know? When I think about the strength card, I also think about um, the energy of stillness, of meditative energy. What's that saying, you guys? Um, win the battle, lose the war, something like that? Yes, yes, yes. Very powerful. So let's continue, shall we? What is your gift? And I want you guys to know right now, I do feel there's something around your lineage, okay? Your ancestors are really coming through and they're showing me a lot of um, purpose. So I want you to know that there's purpose around what it is that you're going through. You're not sitting here in vain. This isn't, this isn't about you sitting here in vain. You're really learning a lot about who you are and healing your ancestors, your great grandmother, your grandfather, you are healing them, okay? So the water element is very important. So follow the rhythm of your heart. Follow the rhythm of your creative energy as well. Okay, five of pentacles. You guys got, wow, pile one. You have the most, the most positive pile. I love it. You are coming out of scarcity, number one. Number two, you're coming out of this poverty consciousness or this heaviness around your heart you're really allowing yourself to see something from a completely different perspective okay and I do feel a big part of this is saying you know what I don't want to minimize myself anymore right a lot of what we're all going through one of the reasons why a lot of us are not nice to each other right now something I'm noticing you know 
um, a big part of it is if someone has something more or if someone has something we don't have, we tend to, you know, get agitated. We tend to get jealous. We tend to, you know, feel incredibly worked up. We, we get very um, envious over others. And this is a very human experience. But right now, what I feel is a lot of you guys are going through a time where you're going to clear this. And the reason why you're going to clear this is because you guys are star seeds. A lot of you guys are very empathic, number one. You are incredibly, you have this angelic frequency. It's beautiful, okay? So there's such a beautiful energy around just hope, yeah? And a lot of you are starting to witness the beauty of holding space for this hope. So what is the outcome for you as we move forward? Let's see. So we have the Prince, wow. Okay, some of you guys are gonna be signing some autographs. Please don't forget about me when you make it big, okay? So a lot of you guys are gonna be in a position of not only signing autographs, but I do feel there's a lot of um, creativity. There's a lot of beautiful energy. There's a lot of, wow, it's like you're feeling inspired. You're feeling, wow, yeah? This is really great energy. So if you guys have been feeling a little bit weighed down, you feel as if, you know, there's something that has been heavy, you know, in your heart that has been weighing, you know, specifically just, I'm getting a lot of shoulders. It feels a little bit heavy here. Just, I want you to rest assured that your time is coming. Yeah. So what is your advice? How can you make the best of these gifts? This is huge. You guys, this is April 14th, first through the 14th. I do feel there's going to be a huge signing for you. Your advice is to move slow. Nothing in life worth having comes easy. So everything that's happening here is going to be very slow. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of slow movement, but it's going to be movement in general. It's going to really flow towards you. Yeah. Okay, great. So pile two, let's see what's going on with my pile of twos. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right, my loves. Pile two. Let's see what's going on. I'm going to give you guys a quote just in case you missed it. Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. Yeah? Heaven is under our feet as well as our heads. Don't you love that, you guys? I love it. So... Okay, right now I am having a vision of a lot of green energy. There's a lot of green orbs, okay? I do feel there's a lot of abundance coming towards you. There's a lot of heart energy coming towards you. I am getting a lot of heart space as well. Wow. Yes. Green is going to be your color. I want you guys to work with green. There's something about green, you guys. It's really going to be incredibly symbolic to your transformation right now. I am getting that a lot of you guys are really working through a heart chakra awakening. So your gift is really centered around not only the things that you love, but also around the things that you really want to see change for yourself. Okay? So... I do feel that a lot of you guys are in a position where, you know, it's like, I don't, I don't want to say losing hope, but I don't know why I'm getting a very dim, dim, dim. It, it almost feels very, um, it doesn't, it, it, it feels as if you guys are really moving through a time where your heart is very wounded, more than anything wounded, okay? Okay. So we do have curiosity, intellect, and networking. So a lot of you guys are going to go through this huge shift around your heart. What is it that you love? But you know, what I'm having a vision of is there's a lot of, wow, you guys have a lot of doves orbiting around you. There are a lot of doves, okay? I'm also getting a lot of movement in terms of communication. This is really in alignment with Gemini because when we think about Gemini, we think about this this communicative energy, a lot of um, freedom, flight, as I saw this beautiful bird above me, right? We're going to have a sense of freedom here, pile two. Some of you guys are going to start networking with people who are very like-minded 
in your environment but I'm also getting you know Gemini is a beautiful sign because it's a sign of adaptability it's a sign of uh, you know preservation a sign of chameleon like energy it's almost like you guys are becoming shapeshifters yeah so I do feel this beautiful energy around becoming more focused as well you guys are fantastic writers pal too you guys are fantastic authors but more than anything speaking is going to be your thing how you speak to yourself and I'll tell you why I'm having a vision right now of smoke screens they're on the opposing side of the back the front the side okay there's a lot of smoke in your environment so I want you guys to use some palo santo I want you guys to use some sage there's some negativity in your environment or people who are purposely they're purposely trying to throw a lot of negative energy your way they're purposely trying to kind of it's almost like they're trying to disturb your peace right so let's go ahead and see. We have Yang, proactive expression, doing and forward motion. So this is huge, you guys, pile two. This is really big, and I'll tell you why. Yang is about our masculine energy. It's about how we move forward in life and how we are resilient in life and how we are incredibly just how we challenge ourselves okay so it's almost like wow you guys have this hero story no matter what people are doing no matter what people are trying to kind of do whether they are completely you know trying to throw you off it's like you guys are mastering yourselves you're like look I'm in it to you know be myself yeah a lot of you guys are saying listen I'm gonna be myself this is who I am yeah so this is powerful you guys because yang a lot of the time when people evil eye us what they're evil eyeing is um the way we move in life yeah so the way you know we kind of take initiative in life this is usually what they do right so when people let's say they're evil eyeing i say the evil eye because i have it up right like when they evil eye it's mainly your right side this is our energy around our father our masculine our relationship with our masculine and how we feel so right now what I feel is a lot of you guys are challenging yourself to go for it they're saying I want to go for it it doesn't matter I'm just gonna go right so this is really beautiful this is a beautiful energy because a lot of you are coming from ancestors in the past where your ancestors have not been able to live in their yang they have not been able to live through their prana through their life force of wanting to you know so there's perseverance i am getting leos in my house here we go leos in the house yes we have libras we have a libra ascendant here i'm getting a lot of sagittarius very free aquarius so we have house of seven we have profound relationships intimacy and romantic partners a lot of you guys your gift is going to be uh, maybe you're moving in through counseling i am getting a lot of uh, mft energy some of you guys are becoming you know therapists you're going to be working with children a lot of you guys are going to be working with um, maybe the elderly or there's a lot of service here. A lot of you guys are in love with giving or you just love making a change, okay? But the, the clouds, the smoke, this is because people in your environment, my loves, you are not giving yourself either enough boundaries or there are people in your environment um, that are trying to completely throw you off, okay? This is why things are happening the way they're happening. They're throwing you off your game, and you guys are saying, I'm not going to do it. I'm just not going to do it. Seventh house is also about relationships, okay? This could also be the gift of relationships, you guys, but I'm getting a lot of recognizing your worth. For me, the seventh house is about recognizing your worth and who you are. This is saying, I know who I am. Yeah? I know who I am. And I'm going to stand tall. And I know what I want in my life. So let's get some energies here. Central theme for you. Pile two. Let's see pile two. Okay, so it's almost like there's this, there's two 
red ribbon is kind of coming towards you. A lot of you guys, this is not easy. This incarnation is not easy at all. You are having to clear some serious karma, my loves. This is tough. Okay. We have the King of Wands. Love will heal you. Love will teach you. Love will heal you and love will teach you. Okay, so many reasons. There's so many reasons for this. The King of Wands, we have a Sag, Aries, a Leo. The gift is not only your relationships, you guys, but the people around you. You are natural teachers, my loves. You guys heal the people you are around. You give to the people that you're around. Okay, you guys are incredibly, it's like you give the gift of hope, yeah? And in turn, the theme of the gifts and your transformation right now is about your personal power, number one, okay? Number two, it's about the two red ribbons is about your karmic destiny. So this is about clearing karma in this incarnation. A lot of you guys are clearing major aspects of your life, especially around your father, you guys. I am getting a lot of pain around the masculine, okay? So let's go ahead and see. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So your transformation is around self-worth, abundance, prosperity, the way you feel about yourself, the way you feel about, you know, your life. Do you feel abundant or do you feel scarce, right? This is about are you feeling abundant or are you feeling as if there is a lack? This is going to be huge, okay? So let's go ahead and see what else is going on here. What is your gift, my loves? What is your gift? Pile two. Let's see what is your gift. Wow. Look at this. Let me see. Some of you guys, I have to just say, you guys are going to meet a... Um, maybe an air sign here, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, there's someone here who is potentially, I am getting a masculine, some of you guys are actually getting married this year, but for me, the four of wands is incredibly revealing in terms of a house, it could be a feeling of security, it could be a feeling of you know, uh, grounded energy, a feeling of engagement, a feeling of celebration, okay? So we do have um, a sense of home here, yeah? Wow. So if you guys are not getting married, I do feel for a big majority, it could just be finally recognizing and clearing a lot of your karma around love, and you're going to find the one. You know, my favorite astrologer, she used to say, sometimes we find the one, um, you know, our high school sweethearts and we marry our high school sweethearts. Other times we have to kiss a few frogs before we meet the one. This is it. You guys are on, um, in so many words, your final frog. You guys have a fantastic partner coming in, someone you're going to have a home with. There's a potential... Uh, business being established here around the four of wands with your beloved I'm also getting a lot of energy around just overall feeling secure you guys are gonna feel so secure you're gonna feel so empowered around your um, this gift is about finally I finally get a home I finally feel secure I finally feel in tune right so what is your gift Let's go ahead and see. What is your gift? Okay, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, so we have the element of communication here. Some of you guys have been silenced for too long, okay? Let's take a look, pile two. There's something in alignment here. There's something really beautiful here. So there is a lack of abundance when we are speaking harshly to ourselves and others. There's a lack of generosity when we are speaking ill of others or ourselves. Kindness starts from within. Kindness starts, it has to come from ourselves, yeah? And it also has to, it, it, it's got to grow around compassion, understanding, right? 
it's really it's it really has to grow around something very natural so what the gift here with the queen of swords in reverse is some of you guys may also be dealing with people who are just plain cruel they're very unkind when they speak to you there's a lot of uh like sharp words okay there's a lot of negativity and you guys are cutting this bs out maybe there was a libra that betrayed you here and you guys are saying you know what i'm not gonna do it What is the gift here? We do have the Empress in reverse. Okay, so the gift, you guys, is really surrounding self-love, okay? So it's not just about your friends. It's also about who it is that you're surrounding yourself by, yeah? It's also about, you know, really bringing up a lot of this empress energy are you feeling kind to yourself are you being kind to others because this is where your abundance grows yeah so as you can see we have the queen of swords libra energy some of you guys are clearing some really big karma around mother some of you guys are just clearing a lot of this energy around yourself okay so this is going to be huge you cannot bring new levels of abundance when you are very cruel okay to yourself to others it, and i'm not saying that you guys are cruel but someone in your environment is really pulling you down yeah there's a lot of kind of trying to minimize your own life trying to minimize you or trying to minimize your experiences so what is your gift here let's see what is your gift i love you guys <laughs> We do have the Ten of Wands. Yes. Oh, you guys, listen, the gift. You're almost there. If you guys have been waiting for a house, this is around fourth house energy. Who am I, right? So there's a lot of who am I? Who am I around my home? Who am I around love? Who am I as a friend? And am I holding boundaries? When, when I think about the four, we think about structure, the emperor, the four of pentacles, and all of that really surrounds feeling more grounded, feeling more secure, right? So the 10 of wands is really symbolic of weight, very symbolic of weight. So I want you to know that if you guys are reaching towards, you know, really trying to make it, you're going to make it, but you have to keep going, my loves. Do not give up. Do not let yourselves give up, okay? So what is your advice here? The gift is surrounding fourth house. You are finally going to feel like you are gifted with, you know, something that makes you feel secure, structured, okay? Something that makes you feel really good. So we do have the high priestess, okay? So we have a lot of um, energy around the gift of, and your advice is, wow, listen, you guys are being gifted this amazing opportunity to manifest your dreams, number one. You're gonna be able to manifest whatever dream you want. For others, you are getting, you're gonna receive the gift of confidence of just really, it's like a new spiritual gift, number two. Number three, this is also about the gift of keeping something private. You guys, keep something a secret, yeah? Don't reveal too much. Whatever it is that you're manifesting, allow it to really be something that is to yourself. Because sometimes when we're in the middle of manifesting, we do not want people to uh, mess it up. Yeah, we, we want to keep certain things quiet so we can manifest it secretly. Wow, congratulations. Okay, I want to be invited to the wedding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going on here. Wow, oh my goodness, you guys. Pile three, let's do it. Let's see our last pile, yeah? Okay, let's try to get this going for us. Okay, some of you guys, I am getting the year of a tiger here. I am getting um, the year of a tiger, or I am getting a vision here of strength. Strength. Wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
we do have Uranus radical change. Listen, the year of the tiger is also um, Aquarian energy, Uranian energy. This is the year of complete, complete transformation. A lot of you guys are going to step out of the box this year. A lot of you guys are really going to remove yourself from conformity. Number one. Number two, Uranian energy is about technology, anything around, you know, communication, intel, anything around, um, you know, just really, really just being different. Creativity. You're standing out. Whatever you're doing right now, my loves, you are going to stand out in so many ways. I'm also getting a lot of, uh, maybe if you guys have been waiting to get your YouTube, you're ready to get, you know, you're ready to get a YouTube channel going, this is what you're going to do, okay? So let's go ahead and see, we do have Jupiter, listen, we have growth, we have that ninth house action, so wow, okay Leo, I am getting Leo, I am getting Scorpio, I'm also getting Libra. A lot of you guys are feeling incredibly powerful. You are feeling really charged. You're feeling very ready to go where you need to go. Yeah. You're feeling as if you're ready to invite some kind of change. So let's go ahead and see. This is going to be a powerful movement. You guys are moving in two months. Okay. Some of you guys are either going to move. I am getting two months, two weeks. Okay. I'm also getting, you guys are either going to move or you are headed somewhere. There's two months here for a very, very big change. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what is going on here. So we do have a conjunction, a union merging and coming together. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Some of you guys, I feel there's something around, you've been waiting. You guys have started a project. There's something that you're waiting for. Maybe there's a collaboration that you're waiting for. Maybe there's something else that you're waiting for. Let me see. Pile three, what is this around? I am having a vision of the moon. So this is something that you asked the full moon for, or you wanted to clear the path for this. Some of you, this is your own candle business. I am getting an aesthetic business or a spiritual business. For others, you've been waiting to get something. It's like, it's like it slowly comes up and then there's a pause and then it, it, you're like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So let's go ahead and see what is going on here. The sun. Yes. A lot of you guys, I want you to know if you've been waiting to have fame or you're waiting for something to make you famous, to be seen. Some of you guys are artists. Some of you guys are, are like, you know, or you want to be a radio host. You're doing something very big in your life. Okay. And I do feel um, this is around your self-expression, but also embodying the truth. The sun is about Leo, where you stand in public, where you stand in front of others. Yeah, where you stand in terms of just the energies around you. Okay. see what's going on. I'm having a vision. Wow, you guys, some of you guys are, oh my goodness, the gift of meeting your twin flame. Some of you guys are going to merge into union this year. Number one, number two, I am having a vision of the moon is revealing something very important to you. Okay. It could be deception of others around you, but also self-deception as well. Yeah. So I do feel this is huge. This is symbolic of a lot of change in your environment, okay? So there is, wow, some of you guys have a pregnancy here. Number one, some of you guys have a pregnancy here that you're waiting for. Or that you, there's an unexpected pregnancy that you, excuse me, not even waiting for. Maybe you don't know, 
but I'm getting a birth. I'm having a vision of a beautiful child like Mother Mary when she holds her child. I'm having a vision of a beautiful birth of new condition, new environments, yeah? So let's go ahead and see your transformative experience here. We have temperance. What it is that you've wanted, some of you guys have been waiting, waiting, waiting. There's a platform. There's something that you're waiting for. I see you've been in a meditative state. You've been holding. You've been waiting. You're like, why, you know, why is this taking so long? Because you're standing out. A lot of you guys are standing out. A lot of you guys are feeling really, um, it's like you're feeling incredibly, incredibly, as if whatever it is that you are working on or you were working on, you're like, I'm waiting for it. Is it going to make it big or is it not? This is about a channel, a platform, and yes, yes it is. You guys have the sun card. You're brilliant. You are shining, my loves. You have to believe in yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and see. Wow. So what's going on with your transformation? A lot of you guys are just learning how to wait, okay? You're learning how to wait for this. And I'm also having a vision of a lot of patience and resilience. But most of all, I am having a, a, a vision of specifically horses, you guys, like a white horse, okay? So for me, when I think about horses, I always, I always, always, always think about cosmic changes, right? We think about speed. We think about agility. So what is your transformation? Yeah. So we have Saturn in reverse. Some of you guys are moving through a Saturn return. So this is almost like when, where and when are my investments going to work? Why is it not working? Why is this happening? Or there's going to be a lot of fixation on power. Saturn is also kind of power gone wrong, right? And then we have responsibility in power. So this is huge. Saturn in the upright is a very responsible energy. It's an energy of inviting a, a, a teacher, a kind of a prophecy, a, um, you know, someone who holds the, the doctrine, someone who knows where they're headed. So I do feel there's big waves around this, you guys. You guys have a lot of restructuring happening. But the gift is, although things have been very hard for you, you are also learning how to transform and you're also learning how to adapt, yeah? So let's go ahead and see what is going on. We have the Queen of Swords. We have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, we have the field of law, justice. We have a lot of counseling energy. Some of you guys are really moving into a position of, of being a leader and public speaking. Like you are really going to help people in so many ways. It's like your platform is going to be very, very strong here. So let's go ahead and see what is going on here. What is your gift, my loves? This is the gift of the sun. You are the sun. You are becoming incredibly seen, number one. It's like you're, you're not only going to be seen, but this is going to be huge. This wave of change is going to be huge. So let's go ahead and see. We have Aeon. Oh, my gosh. So, wow. Okay, this is huge. You guys, you are going to bring forth all your knowledge, all your ancestral knowledge, all of your spiritual knowledge, and you're going to bring it together. I am getting you guys have the power of Isis, the goddess Isis, so you guys are divinely guided, okay? You guys have the doctrine. This is like the Hierophant energy. Oh, this is so beautiful. Let's continue. Let's see what else is going on. We have the Ten of Pentacles here the gift of a finally whatever you've been working on it's going to be a long term long term very fruitful very lucrative endeavor your ancestors and your spirit guides are gifting you a, a beautiful career that's going to be long standing okay it's going to be something incredibly wonderful and it's going to help your generational karma as well you guys are clearing it the gift of, let's see, 
how to. A lot of you guys are going to go at this alone, my loves, okay? So, oh, wow, you guys. The sun. Talk about the sun. Look at this. I take a deep breath on that one. The sun. Power, fame, recognition for all your hard work. Listen, this is not going to go without being noticed. Your hardships, your hard work. A lot of you guys have been so resilient. You have been so patient, so, you know, you're trying your best to make this happen for yourself. And I do feel it's going to pay off. What are your gifts? This is huge. Whatever it is, I do the Ten of Swords in reverse. Everything that you've been through will not be in vain. You guys will not have to go through this in vain. Everything that you're working on is for a reason. You are going to be recognized, okay? It's a matter of holding on to your integrity and your morality. Some of you guys have been in the background really working hard on this year. It's like the music industry. We have anything where things have been a little bit on pause or maybe they've been a little bit slow. It is going to boom in April. April things are going to boom for you I'm also getting April through May excuse me May the gifts of feeling incredibly empowered you're going to have the power that you've always wanted you're going to be recognized respected everything it's like everyone is going to want to help you as well okay there's something about people wanting to help you you're, you're not you're not even going to have enough like people are just going to your community they love you okay you know why because of your heart a lot of you guys have a heart of gold we do have the king of wands okay king of wands listen the gift of presence of leadership of power so what do you do with this what is your advice listen some of you guys like i said there's a lot of obstacles people in your environment are throwing knives at you or I'm getting a lot of backstabbing as well. I'm so sorry. I am getting Pluto and Neptune. These are planets, very harsh karmic placements, number one. Number two, they're placements where there's a lot of karma being played out with your community, with people around you. Some of you guys in a past life, you were a high priest, you were a high priestess and your community betrayed you, okay? And you, it's like you gave everything for your community and you're working through forgiveness through this, right? Learning how to give unconditionally or to give support when no one else does it for you. So what is the outcome here? And what is your advice? Yes, seven of pentacles. You guys got some big fame going on, okay? You guys got investments going on. You guys have a lot of power here. Wow. So what is the advice? Wow. The advice is some of you guys are going to have to let go in order to fully embrace this change, my loves. You guys really have to let this go, okay? You really have to allow the change to really move through you. You can't hold on to pockets of yourself. You see how you're, you're holding on here? You can't hold on to these pockets of yourself and expect a huge transformative change here. You have to let go of, of this darkness inside of you. Or maybe you guys are still holding on to the past. There's a lot of who I was, who I used to be, who I, you know, there's a lot of energy around who I used to be or who I was this sort of thing is really going to have to release it let go because you're growing a new identity king of wands you're growing a leadership position even if this isn't fame you guys it could be a job you guys are going to be seen respected and recognized it's going to be fantastic but in order to embrace it you have to release okay I love you guys talk soon bye